Hello, my name is Abel and uh, I thank you for joining me in this tutorial where I'm going to show you how easy it is to create 2D animations using the Unity 5 game engine. And uh, for this tutorial, I'm not doing the bone-based animation. I'm going to show you the sprite-based animation, okay? And for sprite-based animation, you need to have a series of sprites or images uh, pre-created for you or already done for you. And to make it simple for you, I'm, I've already given you a link in the description where you can download the images. Let me show you the images. Um, I have a cat, okay? And we're going to create a couple of animations for this cat, okay? The first things, let's get down to the assets folder. It's inside the projects panel and right click and create three folders. The first one will be um, sprites, okay? To to store your images. Second one is going to be animations to store the animations and the third one is going to be scenes to store scenes. The reason I give an underscore is going to help me in quickly getting to the scenes as the project goes, grows more complex. You know, there there's going to be a lot of folders and it's it's easy if you have the scenes folder right on top, but you, you'll see as you start working on more complex projects. For now, let's get down to the sprites folder and select all of these sprites and drag and drop them in the sprites folder. Unity is going to do all the importing for you and then I'm going to show you it's pretty easy to create your animations. Okay, so all the sprites are in the sprites folder. One more thing, I want you to select all these sprites by hitting Command A on the Macintosh or Control A on the Windows and look inside the inspector panel and the texture type. Make sure that the texture type is Sprite 2D. Okay, that's for 2D games. And uncheck Generate Map Maps. Generate Map Maps is for 3D games. Since this is 2D, so we don't need that. So click Apply. Unity is going to apply this to all the sprites and then we will start doing the animations. Okay, so Unity's done that. We have a cat, so let's start with the idle animation. Select all of the idle sprites by holding down shift and selecting these. So it's, and then dragging and dropping them inside the scene panel, okay? These are all panels. Now, and congratulations, that's it. You created your first animation. <laughs> you know, it was that simple. And you can verify that by clicking the play button. And that's it. You have a cat that's standing in the idle animation. Okay. It was easy, right? So let's hit the play button. And let's introduce you to these two icons. This is the animation, okay? Always remember, in Unity, if you see an icon like this, it's an animation. And let's rename this to idle. Let's remove the extra symbol and this guy first let's copy these two or let's try and drop these two into the animations folder so it's simpler for you to see now you know that this is the animation icon and the animation is idle this guy is what you call an animator controller since this is a cat I'm going to call this controller cat and uh, let's first rename this game object to cat Okay, and let's, okay, so what is an animation controller? As you start creating more and more animations, you would need somebody to manage the animations for you, right? So, and that's the animation controller. Animator controller is going to help you switch between these animation states. In video game terminology, states are representatives of different animations. People like to call them animation states. And states are nothing but different animations. The walk animation, the run animation, the hurt, the jump animation, and so on and so forth. And who's going to manage all of these? It's your animator controller. Now, by standard convention, you require one, at least one animator controller. And then you can have multiple animations associated with these, uh, with this one uh, animator controller. Let's see what the animator controller looks like. Double click on this icon. And you would see a window or a panel 
like this. Okay, this panel looks like um, it's got a couple of boxes here. One box is green, which is the entry when the game is initialized or when you hit the play button. This animator component is initialized. It's prepared, okay? Unity prepares it to show you the animations. And that's when the green box is called or gets activated. And this green box has an arrow which points towards the idle animation. And the how we know this idle animation is the default because it's orange. Remember that any box which you turn orange or which you see is orange is your default animation. So right now we only have one animation, so uh, you see only one box, which is, so let's create another animation and then we'll come back and see how to change default animations. For that, we need the animation window. Click window and select animation. And let's drag this guy here and drop in there. Now select the game object cat and you see this red button under this is a drop down. So click the drop down and create a new clip and make sure that you're going to save it in the animations folder and let's call it running animation. We're going to make the cat run now and there we go. You have another of these icons which Unity created for you and uh, but you don't have any images in here right so let's go to the sprites folder and let's search for all the run sprites hold down shift this time drag and drop them inside the animations panel okay and congratulations you've created the second animation it's that simple okay now um, before I introduce you to samples I want you to see something if this is your first time doing animations let's get down to the game or let's first go to the animator and you see there's a gray box now Previously there was an there was a green, there was a, there was an orange. This time you have a gray box. This is the same animation that you just created, but it's gray. What does this mean? It means this is not active right now. Okay. If you want to turn this into the default, right click on this, set as layer default state. This guy turns orange. The green box is going to point to this guy now, and this idle has been turned gray. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do some coding or do some scripting and change between these animation states, right? When you play video games, the player or you, you press the left arrow key on the keyboard or on your joystick and the, ad, the player jumps or it falls down or it starts running, it stops, right? So using scripting, you can do that by changing between these boxes or these animation states. And I'll show you in the next tutorial. It's pretty easy to do that. And for now, you've created two animations, the idle and the running. You can see if the cat is running or not. And um, we'll see something very interesting now. Click the play button. And you see, oh, okay, okay, this cat is running as if there's a big monster or a dinosaur chasing the cat. And it doesn't really look uh, natural, right? So. Uh, let's stop the cat. Let's get back to animation. And I introduce you now to the concept of samples. Okay. The reason the cat was running so fast was because there is something called frame rate. And frame rate is the number of images that you see in one second. And currently it's 60. Means you're seeing 60 images in one second. And that's the reason you're seeing such a fast running speed. If you reduce this to something like 12, means Unity is only going to show you 12 of these in one second, and you hit play. And there you go. The cat is running in a in an acceptable manner. Okay, it looks like it's running and there's no dinosaur chasing the cat right now. <laughs> Maybe you can do that in a game later on, but right now there's nothing that's scaring the cat. It's just, just doing a jog in the park, I guess, something like that. So, um, yeah, that's about it. So yeah, that's it. That's the simple process of creating 2D games. And uh, if you look in the sprites folder, you have the walk animation. You have so many images called walk. So I encourage you to try creating the walk animation yourself. Okay, the process is very simple, just like I did. And um, I welcome all your comments. Or if you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to send in some comments in the comments section and I'll try to help you as best as I can.
And uh, so that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Abel, and uh, I look forward to working with you on more tutorials. And, uh, well, happy video gaming.